Or you're going to be listening to the wrong person. And you make it the wrong decisions. The water of life, a pure river, crystal, clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb, promised to those who thirst for righteousness. Amen? That's what you're supposed to be doing here. You're supposed to be thirsting and hunger and thirsting after the righteousness of God Almighty. Amen? Glory be to God. The tree of life in the middle of the street was the Garden of Eden. Now, in the city of God, straddling the river of the water of life, from which it gets its nourishment, bearing twelve fruits. Now, where are these true twelve fruits? Yielding fruit every month, perpetual provision, with leaves for the healing of the nations, no more sickness. Amen? No more sickness. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. The reign of his servants. The curse which made work difficult is no more. The throne of God of the Lamb is present. God's reign continues. Glory be to God. As, as we look at this, Jesus says, And behold, I am coming. Quickly, and my reward is with me. He said, What reward? For the word for the work that you have done here on earth. Glory be to God. To give to everyone according to to his word. Remember what Jesus said, I want you to be a doer of the word and not only a hearer. Hallelujah. I want you to be a doer of the word. Glory be to God. I don't want you to sit on that pew all the time and just sit there and listen, praise God. I want you to participate. Amen. I want you to get out there and spread the gospel. I want you to write track. Glory be to God. I want you to do the things that God has told you to do. Amen. We are people of the Lord. Hallelujah. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do His commandment, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. But outside are, are dogs and saucers and sexually immoral and murderers and adulterers and whoever loves and practices a lie. He makes it very clear, doesn't he? I, Jesus, have sent my angel to testify to you these things. In the churches, I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. And the Spirit and the bride say, Come. And let him who hears say, Come. And let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify to everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this book, If anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the words of this book, of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life from which the holy city, from the things which are written in this book. God makes it very, very clear. Glory be to God. He says, I desire that none perish, but that all, and I mean all, come to repentance. Amen. That's what it's all about. That's what the gospel is. Jesus died for our sins, didn't he? Jesus shed his precious blood. Glory be to God. His blood became an atonement for our sins. Not our sins only, but for the sins of the whole world. Glory be to God. Today, you that are watching this, all you have to do is ask Christ to come into your heart as your personal Savior. To repent of your sins. To say, I'm sorry, Jesus. I'm sorry, Jesus, for the way that I messed my life up. God wants to give you another chance. You say, well, I sinned too much. I'm too horrible. I'm too bad. God can forgive you. God can forgive you. You say, well, who are you? How, how do you know that? Well, we're Circle of Love Ministries here in Jacksonville, Florida. 13519 North Main Street, Jacksonville, Florida. 32218. Our telephone number is 904-696-3105. 696-3105. You say, well, how can I get to salvation? Can you pray with me? I say, of course I can pray with you. Glory be to God. Pray with me right now. Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner. I repent of my sins. I ask you, Jesus, to come into my heart and my life 
as my personal Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for writing my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. Now, if you've repented and asked Christ to come into your heart, glory be to God, you're a Christian. And begin to read the Word, follow God, join a church, amen? Begin to do the things that the Bible says to do. Remember, the Bible says your name has got to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. If it's not there, you're not going to heaven. It's as simple as that. It makes it very clear in the Book of Revelation, doesn't it? If your name does not appear in the Lamb's Book of Life, Jesus is the healer, too. He's the time of the Lord that heals me. And again, a lot of people don't believe that. Okay, well, my doctor will take care of me. Well, of course your doctor. He's a doctor. He's supposed to. But Jesus can heal you right now where you're standing. Put your hand on the part of your body right now that hurts. And believe with me by faith in God. Believe with me in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for those that are doing this right now, being obedient, God, putting their hand on the part of their body that needs to be healed. And I ask you, Lord, that you heal them right now from the top of their head, Lord, to the soles of their feet. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, and believe it's done. Amen and amen. amen. If you'd like to support this ministry, give us a call. Glory be to God. We're a faith ministry, and that's all. We're not supported by the city, state, government, or any other thing around here except for Christians. Hallelujah. If you would like to support us, give us a call. God bless you until next time.